Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Got a really cool example to show you today. Very, really practical. That's why that's why I like this example the most because you know this is this is the sort of practical insights that Power BI can generate for you if you utilize it effectively. Okay. There's just no tool out there that's as versatile and flexible as Power BI to get you, you know, that can get you simple um, calculations, but also you know, very quickly and easily get you um, advanced insights that can add a lot of value to the analysis you're doing. Okay, and this is this is just one example of how you can do that. And, and it's just look, it's just a matter of really understanding uh, you know the DAX formula language and how to combine lots of different functions together to be able to extract these really amazing insights. Okay, so what we're going to try work out today is I want to dynamically see. I actually want to see the name of the customer who is the highest purchasing customer per product, right? Okay, and then I want to show you how we can potentially get other insights based on just this one insight, okay? And I want it to be dynamic because I want to be able to select, say, a different region and then see the top customer for that particular region, right? Okay. So let's go through the formula first. It's quite it's quite an interesting one. It does combine quite a few different techniques, okay? So don't be too concerned if it doesn't all fit together, you know, straight away. If you if you become more familiar with a lot of the key concepts of um, Power BI, then this stuff is, to is totally possible for you, okay? I'm just going to go new measure here, and I'm going to call this one top um, top customer name, okay? Now, if you think about what we need to do with a top customer, right? We need to do some sort of ranking, right? We need to do some sort of ranking. And if we are also trying to return, say, one value, right? We probably also want to do some, utilize some sort of like max or min because we only want to return one value, right? The max. And ma the max or the min. The max makes more sense here because we're trying to find the top person. Okay, so what we need to use is we need to use a max x function, so an iterating function, right? And inside max x, we can put a table and an expression. Okay, now for this table, what we want to do is we want to uh, create a virtual table based on ranking, right? We need to create a table that ranks our customers based on the revenue in which they have generated. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function called top end. I'm going to put a virtual table inside of this table um, parameter. Okay. And I'm only going to return the top one. Okay. Because it's going to be the top customer. Now within top end, I'm going to create another summary, a virtual table though, right? I'm going to create a table of all of our customers and all of their revenues. Okay. And I'm going to do it, do it like this. I'm going to go customer, then customer name. Okay, so remember so what summarize does is it basically creates a, a table of like um, columns and this particular col uh, column, the first column is going to be customer name and then next to that particular column, I want to put revenue. Okay, I'm going to put my revenue amounts and then I'm just going to grab the revenue uh, measure. Okay, so this is the second, that was the second parameter in top end. Then I need to order it. I need to order the expression. How do we want to order these customers? Well, I want to order them by the revenue. And what I can do here, which is pretty cool, is I can reference that column that we have inside of Summarize, right? Then I want to um, I want to rank them in a descending order. So I'm going to have the highest at the top, going down to the bottom. And you've got to remember what is that? This is going to be placed into here, which is which is going to be the current the, the product one is going to be the current context of the calculation. Then product two, product three, right? So it's going to filter the customers based on their revenue, and then return only the top customer, right? And then to extract that top customer as a value. What I'm going to do is I've wrapped it, I put it into max x here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reference the customer name column just like this, okay? And then I'm going to push enter. It's a pretty tricky formula, okay? I totally I totally understand that, but um, by combining um, these this sort of technique in a number of different ways, you can actually f uh, figure out lots of cool stuff. Like a really good example is like you say you're selling a number of different products. What is the top selling day? Or what is the bottom selling day? You know, these are the types of um, insights that you can you can generate utilizing a technique like this. So, 
as a summary, let's just quickly go through it. So you see here now I'm returning a result. This is the top customer by revenue for every single day, right? And what I've done is, so say we've got some context from our product here. Well, we need to create within this particular context, we need to get a list of our customers by their um, and, and their revenue and then try and rank them by their revenue. But and then with top 10, I'm going to return or return a table, right, of only one customer. So even though MaxX is an iterator, because of top 10 here only ranking to one result, we're going to return only um, the uh, one row basically and that row is then going to um, be a particular customer and then this customer names reference here is going to pick up who that customer is okay and what's cool about this particular formula is I can click around here and it's dynamic I can I can find all the different customers who are purchasing say one product more more than others okay and then what's also cool is that you could um, or that you put into a table, you could put it into a matrix as well. And say, for instance, I wanted to, I'm going to go and grab the channel um, dimension from my sales table and put it into the into the columns. And there's a lot of logic going on there, so it's a little bit slower, and we've got a lot of products. But now I can, I'm getting my top customers for my distributing um, channel, my exporting channel, and my wholesale channel. And then I can also click around into my um, different regions as well, and it's going to recalculate. So yeah, this is pretty cool, right? This is pretty amazing what um, you know what you can discover quite quickly um, utilizing a technique like this. And what you could also do, which would be pretty cool, is you could also um, you know, say, let's say we want to get rid of this and turn it into a table. We'll say, for instance, we want to work out okay, well, what is the top revenue? We want we want the revenue next to that particular customer, right? So utilizing the same sort of pattern that we have here, we could just copy it. I'm going to go new measure. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to go revenue here. And I could just place here, I just could go rev like this. I could just go and grab that revenue figure like that. Go enter and then bring this in um, like so. And then now I've actually got the revenue of that particular customer, right? The revenue of that particular customer now is um, located there, right? And then same as dynamic, and I could then you know create some data bars or something like that as well. Okay, so look, that's what I wanted to show you today. Hopefully, hopefully you 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 got a lot out of you know looking through this technique. This is a really cool one. You know, this is just brand new types of insights that you probably maybe didn't even think you could you you could achieve in some sort of scalable way, right? But you know, there's not not that big a formula that you need to write to actually get this to work. So hopefully you can see that, and hopefully um, you know you can find a way to implement this sort of logic. Okay, wishing all the best. Um, Definitely throw the video a like if you enjoyed it. Um, really appreciate that as always. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Got plenty of good stuff um, lined up coming out to you um, in the near future. So want to get it out um, straight into your hands when uh, when it's made available. Okay, all the very best and good luck.